Hello, my people. I am excited today because I am back in my hometown, the city of Pittsburgh, and today we're going to go check out Duquesne University. So I was a bit surprised by just how big this campus is. Even though it's an urban campus and so it's packed in pretty tight, there's a lot of changes in elevation here. It gets a little confusing as to like which floor you're on and that's just how Pittsburgh is, baby. We got hills, okay? Let's check out the campus for now. We're Tall Cap Epsilon, we're a fraternity here. Uh, we're just doing a fundraiser for St. Jude. St. Jude is a, uh, it's, it's a oh, hospital, hospital, yeah, it's a hospital for, for, children, for kids with cancer. It's Dunker Brother for St. Jude. How many brothers have been dunked today? Too many. Uh, too many. Yeah. Too many. Yeah. I see him trying back there. Who's got like the best arm? <laughs> So I always kind of thought of Duquesne as a business school, but when it comes to undergraduate admissions, Duquesne is very much a STEM school. They've managed to put so much STEM into their programs. Business courses like economics and finance and supply chain management are now considered STEM careers. And what that means for you if you're international is that you're not gonna get one year of OPT, you're gonna get three. You can find a job, stay in the United States, maybe become a US citizen. Duquesne does it by taking majors that would traditionally not be STEM majors and packing them full of STEM courses so that they can actually qualify for that STEM extension. If you're gonna study a traditional additional STEM degree, you'll find that the science facilities here are great. Duquesne is also really proud of two big programs. One is their health sciences program, and they've been upgrading their facilities. Like I saw this brand new lab that they were still finishing setting up. And even like their big lecture hall in the, in the health sciences room looks like a bunch of hospital beds because it is. Like those are your desks and also where you practice, which I think is really cool. They also have a great pharmacy program here where after six years, you will become a licensed pharmaceutical doctor. You don't have to go through the whole medical school track and become a full-fledged doctor to have a good paying career in medicine in the US. I love my city so much. It's so green, so pretty. You get all these beautiful things in the area to see too. You could go to places like the Andy Warhol Museum if you're interested in art. Symphony Orchestra is downtown. There's sporting events all the time. Pittsburgh Steelers are going to be playing here in just a couple of weeks and I'm so sad that I'm going to miss it. Here we go Steelers. Here we go. I don't normally go into dorms because that's like people's private space but I was able to get inside access to see the demo dorm that they have so here's a look at what your dorms could look like. In fact these freshman dorms have air conditioning which is not always that common in the United States so pretty cool It's the cleanest dorm room I've ever seen. <laughs> We're not going to be hungry on campus because you've got the almighty Chick-fil-A. We're about to see one of the most important places on campus, Chick-fil-A. It should be around here somewhere. Yep, there it is. 
as always, the most popular spot on any campus is the Chick-fil-A. But you've also got amazing spots like Moonlit Burgers. I actually got to go in here for a minute and they let me film around. Big thank yous to Sarah and Mike for treating me to lunch today. I almost never get a free lunch. It's like so nice to get a free lunch. I want to make it clear that that free lunch has not influenced anything I have said about the university today, but it will influence the fact that I will say that Moonlit Burgers was delicious. You should definitely check them out. They're a new spot on campus and a lot of other cool places to eat here. So I think you're going to like it. Another program I totally didn't expect to talk about here at Duquesne is their music program. They have a robust art school here at Duquesne, beautiful theater, beautiful facilities for music, and they have three different music programs that are pretty interesting. First of all, there's the classical music programs, which, you know, just playing instruments, but there's also music technology and even music therapy. There are some seriously big scholarships for the music programs if you're interested because they're looking to attract more people to those programs. And that's in addition to the existing scholarships that you can get here, which for most students ranges between about nine and $26,000 a year. You're gonna wanna bring a really good SAT score and have great grades from high school. But another thing you can do to boost your application is write an amazing essay. And don't just stop at your Common App essay. Something that I learned today, a little bit of inside information after talking to Sarah was that they will also accept anything that you email to them directly. So if you email your international admissions counselor and you say, hey, I also have written an essay about why I wanna go to Duquesne, they'll add it to your file. Duquesne really wants to know more about you than just see the numbers, so try to show as much as you can. If you're interested in coming here, demonstrating that interest, writing some extra essays, and having a really strong profile is how you get closer to that 22, 24, $26,000 a year award. And in music, that number goes up even more. You could actually get a full ride scholarship for tuition. You still have to pay your living expenses, but even those are pretty reasonable here at about $14,000 a year. Now, the admissions process itself is pretty straightforward. You can use common app or you can apply directly and they don't charge any application fee which is really nice there's even no deadlines you have a rolling admission policy here although I would recommend that you get your application in you know by around January so that you have time to do your visa stuff and you get in before all the good spots are taken I had a great time on campus today I want to give a big thank you to Sarah and Mike for showing me around all day they took their whole morning on a Friday to just show me the entire campus if you guys are interested in Duquesne and you really should be because you're in an awesome city at a great university then go ahead and check out their website I've left a link in the description below and if you guys like this kind of stuff then go ahead and subscribe to the channel because we're always gonna be doing more tours we're always gonna be doing more even though this is my last stop on this tour we're just getting started with this channel baby we got so much more to do you can't see me now. There we go. Thank you so much for watching this all the way to the end. If you're still here, it means a lot to me. And I hope that you like this stuff and keep coming back for more. So, I will see you next week.